I think it's safe to say that ostomy surgery, whether planned or unplanned, absolutely changes our lives and we always hope for the better. But of course, with this operation, we face some unique challenges, ones that can leave us feeling embarrassed, ones that leave us struggling physically and emotionally, and leave us questioning why we even got this surgery in the first place. My name is Maggie, and I am thrilled to be joining Stoma Cloak to talk stomas online. I know firsthand the challenges that we can face with this surgery because I've been living with my stoma for nearly 15 years now. I have faced leaks with the absolute worst timing. I have dealt with odor that could not be disguised by all of the air freshener in the world. And I've also managed really severe skin breakdown that made it so I couldn't keep an ostomy appliance on for more than an hour. I've certainly dealt with a number of challenges over the years, but this stoma is what gave me my life back. At the age of 16, my inflammatory bowel disease made it so I really couldn't do much without experiencing pretty severe symptoms. I had intestinal strictures that not only made it really difficult for me to eat, but also go to the bathroom. I was really focused on my weight and the fatigue and just being weak all the time. And I'm sorry, but bowel movements should not be the focus of a 16 year old. After an intestinal resection that didn't quite go as planned, I woke up with an ileostomy. I thought that life was over. I mean, I really, I really did. I was thinking about how I would tell my soccer team that I couldn't play with them anymore. I thought about what we would do for school. I was only a junior in high school and I, I knew I wanted to finish, but how could I when I couldn't leave the house? I truly thought that you just could not leave the house with a stoma. And I think we all have these stories behind our stomas, the disease or the trauma that led to the surgery and then the aftermath. It did not take me long to realize that even though I had this ostomy to manage, I was actually spending quite a bit less time in the bathroom than I was prior to surgery. Leaving the house was actually less stressful. There was no urgency. There was no abdominal pain that would leave me running to the bathroom. I started to eat and actually enjoy food again. My stoma was taking the focus off of my disease. That had been my focus for so long and it was putting it back on my life. I mean, my stoma really, really opened up my life quite a bit. Adjusting to life with an ostomy certainly was not easy. And there are times now, all these years later, that I question what I might look like without an ostomy bag or what I might feel like, be like without one. And it's these times that I really rely on products like the Stoma Cloak that just make living life with an ostomy a little bit easier. Their sleek ostomy cover just gives me that boost of confidence, makes me feel a little bit better about myself, and also gives me reassurance if I were to experience a leak unexpectedly. I also know if there's any odor that I'm going to experience from my ostomy appliance, the stoma cloak is going to pull it away from it. And just, it, it's really covering me. It's really my backup. I even notice less of that crinkling plastic sound from my ostomy appliance when I have it on and it's just such a simple solution that you don't think it's going to make that big of a difference but it really does and I wish I could go back in time and tell 16 year old Maggie about it I wish it was around then because I think it could have made adjusting to life with a stoma just a little bit easier. I'm really happy to be part of this community where we can talk openly about subjects that I know some people find taboo and find uncomfortable to talk about, and we can discuss our issues and discuss the solutions that we find to them. We can commiserate with each other on those why me moments, you know, why is this happening to me? I have felt that many a time. But we can also celebrate each other's accomplishments and our ability to overcome. I'd love to know, what are your biggest challenges when it comes to life with a stoma? Whether you are a seasoned pro or you are new to the club, let us know in the comments and I really can't wait to connect with you.